Hey, you got two me minutes. and you, we have stuff to talk about. Let me show you this at Dallas Baptist right now. It said, yeah, Chris, they, honestly, they keep Cynthia away from the clients. It's probably best for the income here, the revenue stream at the station. 73 degrees and blue skies at DBU. It's 73 in downtown Dallas. I mean, it truly is, other than that breeze we had today uh, and the pollen count that's been high, it's been a really nice spring day for us. 74 and 49, the high and the low, 75 and 54, the normals. We've been as hot as 96 back in 1948. It was a chilly start today, but 20 degrees away from the record low of 29 in 1989. 73 outside right now, uh, the breezy northwest wind continues right now at 18. Pollen today, oak, ash, and poplar are high fungus today. That's low. Clear skies across the great state of Texas. Here's my forecast tonight. You can do this at home. You can even drive heavy equipment and do this. Look at that. I mean, there's nothing going on. It is a quiet night tonight. I have nothing more than a couple high thin clouds that'll stream across the area tomorrow. A great end to the work week. A little on the breezy side tomorrow like it was today, but nothing too bad. Today in the 70s, tomorrow 80, 82 on Saturday, 84 on Sunday. The only Maybe minor issue would be some breezy south winds, 10 to 20 tomorrow, up to 30 on Saturday, 15 to 25, maybe close to 30 on Sunday. And then there's our severe weather threat on Monday afternoon and really late day Monday afternoon and Monday night. Anywhere from around Wichita Falls to Oklahoma City, that's going to be the highest risk at this point. The strength of the cap and the dry line placement, that will determine our severe weather threat. Right now, the dry line, strong cap in place across the area, strong cap that's at warm layer of air aloft that shuts down severe thunderstorm development uh, and can really shut down just thunderstorm development too at times. Uh, that's going to be in place. The dry lines back there in uh, New Mexico, right on the New Mexico, Texas line. So with it being so far west, going to be hard pressed to have any widespread thunderstorm activity Monday afternoon. It's more likely Monday night. If that dry line were to start, let's say around Abilene and then move into Dallas, Fort Worth, we could have an interesting day. So that dry line placement is critical. We'll keep you updated on that as we head through the weekend and certainly keep you updated on Monday next week. 51, a nice night tonight during the day tomorrow. Dry, uh, breezy and warmer. Tomorrow we hit 80 degrees. There's the 82 on Saturday, 81 on Monday. Don't forget the Mavs game tomorrow night. Yes. Look at the rain. They're playing the Pistons. Mm -hmm. Bill Lambeer, is he back? <laughs> no, I don't Just know. pulling names out of 1989, Joe. <laughs> Monday through Sunday next week, we have showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. And any one of those days, we could see some severe weather. Any time in April you have thunderstorms, uh, it's really hard to say that we won't have severe weather. So since thunderstorms are possible, any one of those seven days, we'll have to watch for the threat of severe weather. And actually, there's nine days there where we have a chance of thunderstorms. So we'll keep you updated on that. But that's really not a, it's you know, it's a wetter than normal. 14 day forecast and for us in Texas, wetter than normal in the spring is important because summer always seems to be drier than normal. We'll take it when we can get it. We need to have a conversation about wind because I think it has been windier than normal too. I know you just moved here. I'll tell you about the wind situation <laughs> no, but in the, Texas. There are a lot of people at the golf course who are mad at you, Pete. Well, that's that's a, hey, it's, it's a built-in excuse bad. for your crummy golfer buddies. That's exactly right. Notice he said buddies, he didn't say me. <laughs> no, my, my guys could